What's up guys? Welcome to a new vlog. We're gonna jump right into it. Nothing too fancy going on around here, but I wanted to share with you guys what's up. First off, we're gonna go through some packages. I'm absolutely the worst at mail. Like mailbox and packages. They show up at my door, I set them aside, kind of space out that they're even there. So let's open up these packages and then we're gonna put these ones to use. Oh, let's set the Yeti aside. Guys, we got so much to show you. So much going on around here. Now that I've been home for a couple weeks, this is my new bow, Timber. Let me get a good hold of it. So, uh, most of you probably know that we work with Hoyt. Hoyt is a local company here in Utah. It's so nice to have the headquarters right here, literally like 15 minutes from my house. So we have a great relationship with these guys and lucky enough to get a new bow every season. And this year I've got the Ventum 30 and I got it custom dipped in First Light Fusion. That's why it took a little longer to get mine. One, it's lefty. Two, I, I got it dipped. So yeah, the Ventum 30. This is the new bow I'm going to be shooting this year for the 2021 season. Don't know what tags I have yet, but we will soon be finding out, but I'll, I'll for sure at least have one deer and one elk tag, maybe a whitetail tag too. So yeah, wanted to show you guys the bow. This thing is sweet. Unfortunately, the guys at Wild Arrow said lefty components have been hard to get, so I don't know how long it's gonna take until I get, get it built. Okay, we're going with the next box. This is a First Light box. I think it's their new pants. Got a sticker. It's always nice to get a sticker. Men's Obsidian Foundry Pants. Sweet. Oh yeah, the new Foundry Pants. I finally got mine. So it looks like they sent me a couple colors. I got each of the new Foundry Pants in a color different, in a couple different colors. Awesome. <laughs> okay, this one, my buddy sent me this, Joshua Miller. He also built the sign outside in my garage, the Shed Wall of Fame. And he made me some samples that he wanted to send me. So let me figure out how to open this up and I'll show you. So Joshua and his company do like laser cutting stuff. All kinds of stuff. Let's see what we got here. Oh shoot. Dang. <laughs> These are cool. Wow. I guess those can be popped out and, and mounted. That's a sweet little feature. I need something, I need something in here. Maybe the black one, just set that up right there. That'd be pretty cool. Huh, Joshua, thanks man. These are awesome and then he came up with some ideas for, like these you can use as a keychain and they you can tilt your phone up so it sits up. All kinds of other keychains. Would anybody be interested in Hush? Keychains. Wow, these are heavy duty too. These aren't like super lightweight. These are actually pretty cool. I am the worst with keys, so I should probably use one. My favorite is this guy. That's pretty sweet. God, this camera really struggles with focus. It's a brand new camera too. But yeah, those are cool. I think people would really enjoy those. I know I'm gonna be hanging one up. God, that's sweet. Would you guys be interested in this stuff? Let me know in the comments. Okay, moving on to the Rat Cub. These guys definitely have the best branding in this industry. Um, even their shipping stuff has some uh, cool packaging. So your antlers say thank you, and so do we. Rat Cub, guys, you guys know I use the Rat Cub. I've got a set of elk antlers in the garage. I've got uh, Axis deer. I got a whole bunch of stuff out there. They sent me some new stuff because they got new inventory. So for anyone who has bought Rack Hub through my discount code, thank you guys so much. That actually helps me out a lot. And um, we're not doing the code anymore. So if anybody wants to shop through Rack Hub, there's a link in the description box. And that will actually auto generate 10% off when you go and order and it will do it automatically. So it's super sweet. Heck yeah, finally. Holy cow, so you guys know I mounted a set of elk sheds and it's on one of the very first samples. It's like one of five, I think they said. But if you order the RH2XL, this is what it looks like. Like I said, these guys have nailed down the branding 
Um, the whole shopping experience with these guys is top notch. So let me tell you a little bit about this, then we're gonna go out and take it out to the garage. This is the RH2 XL. Okay, I'm gonna mount another set of elk sheds. I'm undecided on which ones to mount. We'll go out there and we'll, we'll go through the stack and see. But they had a bunch come through that were somewhat scratched. So there's a huge sale on these right now. If you want to get one of these, now's the time. And if you're not sure if you like it or you just, you're, you know, maybe you didn't want to invest in it when they had the pre-order, you just want to check it out, get one of these. They're lightly scratched. They're not bad at all, but they have them on their website marked off big time. And that happened through shipping, unfortunately, for those guys. So it caused them a bit of a headache, but um, they're just gonna sell through them. It's the last order that's gonna be like that. And then moving forward, they'll get brand new ones. And we got this too. There it comes. Check it out. Uh, so obviously uh, the entire team at Rack Hub is huge shed hunters. It's actually fun to work with someone that loves shed hunting as much as I do. They got some new uh, gear. So we got hats, stickers. This one is their, uh, their shed mass gauge. It's like a burr gauge. You can put your uh, shed antlers up to it. That's perfect for the cooler. And then, yeah, a ton of apparel. So I got myself some new shed apparel, shed season. Whole bunch of new stuff. This is all on their website. Looks like scoring a shed. And guys, like I said, the little link, if you use it and follow the link through my uh, description box, it'll auto generate that 10% off. But for now, we're taking this to the garage. Well, now we have all kinds of new things to take to the garage and have fun with. <laughs> like I've told you guys, the garage is a never ending project. It's constantly changing, rearranging, and adding new stuff. But these are gonna make some cool additions. I wanted another elk mount because I got a dead space on my barnwood wall and I thought it'd be cool to throw up another set of elk sheds on that wall. And then these little hat rack deals, I don't know where I'm gonna put one, but I'm definitely gonna put the black one up somewhere. Let's see where we can put it. <coughs> we gotta have these somewhere, right? Like, that's way cool. And I think it would just make like, such a cool little piece. I put it up there, just kind of held it in place and I didn't like it because it was pretty shallow compared to the TV. So I didn't want it to take away from the depth of the TV. So I put it up there and I think I like it. I'll probably keep it there for a minute. So these are hat racks. I think they make better home decor than a hat rack, but yeah, I guess if you wanted to throw your hat up there, you have something to stack a bunch of caps on, but. I think I like it as a decoration more. What do you guys think? Let me know. All right, now we mess with the elk antlers and this is the gap I'm thinking about filling. It's a pretty big gap. It's kind of empty there compared to everywhere else. Now we got to figure out what set to put up there. Or I guess I could put two singles. Wonder how that would look. This set's one of my favorites and it's white. It's the one with the floater front from last year. I've got his brown from last year and then the white set from the year before. That would actually look pretty good up there. Okay, I made some changes. Let me know what you guys think. I like it. I think I'm definitely used to the way it was, but this looks like how like a person would kind of hold up a set of sheds. And I do like how it lays flat against the wall. Not that it was in the way at all, but it did kind of overlap the railing of the garage door. So I'm gonna leave it like that for now. I think I'm gonna take down the locked bucks. So I'll have to move those somewhere, but I picked out the set that I wanna mount. It's one of my favorites. I always say it's one of my favorites because I love all my sheds, but I really do like the way that the white sheds pop against the barnwood wall. So I'm gonna mount this big old six by six set I found last year. The nice thing about the rack hub is literally everything comes. So I've got the big drill bit. I need to drill out a small hole, only about an inch deep. And then you put the inserts inside there. So pretty simple. I've shown you guys before, but I'll uh, film it again. So it comes with the drill bit. I measured it same depth as an insert. So I don't go too far in. Not that it would be a big deal if you did, but I'm not trying to drill it out. So I'm gonna drill these dead center at about the angle of the main beam. If 
you guys have all the fancy tools and vices, use that. I don't, so I'm just basically gonna stand it on the ground and drill it in. Well, of course, of course the battery's gotta die when you finally need the dang thing, so. I'm gonna have to charge it and come back to that. Okay, I got the drill powered back on, went ahead and did the dirty work, but this is how it looks when it's all said and done. I know it drives some people crazy to drill a hole in the burr, but trust me guys, I love antlers just as much as anybody and it's, it's really not that bad for the results you get. So these inserts should slide into these. Might need to tap them with a hammer, so I'm gonna get them started. And we'll take them inside and give them a little love tap them in there and then we can mount the uh the mounting bracket on the wall insert in mounting bracket mounted to the wall it's nice because i have nothing nothing to worry about here so two big thick screws again this is the not refurbished but the scratch and dent one and guys you can't tell once it's up there here's how it looks from back here i kind of favored the left side hoping that that big left G1 is gonna cruise over into that side. So hopefully it looks good. It's at the same level as the other one. So we're gonna toss them up there and I don't know, see how it looks. So let's throw this up here. All right, we're just gonna start with something like that for now. Got to use the Allen wrench to really crank it down. Let's see, something like right there. Let's see. How does it look? How does it look? It's always so hard to tell when you're up there. Y'all, it really puts into perspective how big that freaking big five is, doesn't it? These are big antlers, I mean. By itself looks giant. Wait till you see it next to the big five, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's throw that other one and see how it looks. Okay, that's it for me in the garage. I think I'll twist them a little bit, but uh, for now, we're shutting her down. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go to the gym. I got some cardio to do. But that was fun. So like I said earlier guys, you can get uh, the discount if you just use the link in the description box. Thanks for watching that section. We'll move forward with the vlog. Let's we'll kind of take it from there. Here we go, starting the day off fresh with a gym session. I'm actually going to meet Wes Rising Shed at the gym. And uh, I don't know what he's working out. Hopefully he wants to do legs because it's legs day for me. Hopping in the old Tundra been the daily driver really thinking about selling grandpa truck but I don't know I guess trucks are hard to get right now so I could probably make a little bit of money on it it's paid off and then I think I'm gonna take some of the antler that I have in this garage right here and start cutting more dog shoes because I'm gonna run a sale well today is productive getting all kinds of stuff done I've been saying I wanted to do which was cut up some of the stack for dog shoes let me show you some of the inventory I've got so I just cut up a good handful out here. They're kind of mixed up, but we've got base blocks. These have been really popular. Um, burrs, which I need to get on the website. And then small points. Always seem to be left over with a lot of this kind of stuff. And then we got jumbos here. We got jumbo splits. That's a big old chunk. I'm gonna show you that compared to some of these other ones. You got large splits, large hole, medium hole medium splits and tomorrow Jaden's gonna come over we're gonna sand all of that I had a couple antlers from this year some that I bought that were just next level big and I cut them up and they are just giant pieces like I asked a bunch of people on Instagram and I asked you guys would you guys be interested in in choose even larger than jumbo I think I'm gonna call them mega um, so it'll be small medium large jumbo and mega and they're just thicker. There's not a lot of antlers that have the mass like this. 
where it's like super heavy on the main beam. So I took some of these and cut them about eight, nine inches. Like for example, this one's a little thinner, but it got cut longer. I always try to balance that out. And these are splits. So for example, this is a jumbo split. And this would be a mega split. Look at that. So you guys can see, jumbo is a good size. Like, don't get me wrong, that's a big old antler. But if I do these megas, they're just next level in mass. So this one would be mega. Again, it's just not only in the width, but just all around. It's a lot more bone. So I'm gonna have those on the website, size mega. There's, there's only been a handful of people asking for something so large and it's because they have really large breed dogs. Uh, so those are gonna go on the website, it's racksnacks.com. Again, I know I'm like a broken record, but I'm selling antler chews to help pay for my parents' remodel, which hopefully by the next video, guys, it's gonna be done and I'll walk you guys through it. And I even wanna go over some of the expenses and what it costs. It was a lot, a lot more than we anticipated. And as you begin to tear a house apart, you run into problems, you, start doing upgrades maybe that you didn't have um, on the original plan and the original budget. But I just want my parents to be happy. I wanted to do it right the first time. I wanted to get it done. So huge thanks to Zach on helping me at my parents' house. But on the dog shoes, before I let you guys go, the code IG20 will give you 20% off store-wide on Rack Snack. So if you guys need any dog shoes, please consider going to my website. Again, IG20. We'll get you 20% off store-wide. And all of this inventory may not be on the site yet, but it will be on the website within the next couple days. We have to sand it and prepare it first. So if, it's, if you don't see jumbos or megas on there, please come back and check it out. And then last but not least, the old Hush Elk Hunt Experience giveaway is going on. So at gethushin.com, every $1 spent, that's an entry to win the New Mexico Elk Hunt with us. But that's it, guys. Just wanted to get you guys caught up on what's new and, uh, you know, show you some stuff. So we got the rack hub up, we got some dog cheese cut, now we got the UPS man. So see you guys on the next video.